Is Proton VPN really the most private VPN out there? Or is it just another service with big promises and hidden compromises? Most VPNs promise top-tier security, blazing speeds, and airtight privacy, but only a few truly deliver. In this video, I'm taking a deep dive into Proton VPN to answer the big questions. How safe is it? What features does it offer? How does its speed compare to other top VPNs? And most importantly, is it actually worth your money? I'll be evaluating Proton VPN in each category and assigning remarks based on its performance. Watch this video till the end to see if Proton is the right choice for you and how to get it for the best price. However, I ran some speed tests on Proton VPN alongside other competitors, and let's just say the test results were not what I expected. Stick around to see why. All right, before we dive in, let's take a quick look at Proton's history to see what makes Proton VPN different from the rest. We all know privacy is the heart of any good VPN, and Proton AG has been all about it since 2014. You might know them for Proton Mail, the world's most trusted encrypted email service, but their story started a little differently. Instead of big investors, Proton was built with the help of over 10,000 privacy advocates who raised $500,000 in donations, shaping its commitment to transparency from day one. To stay sustainable long term, Proton later adopted a freemium model. In 2017, they launched Proton VPN a VPN designed specifically for true online privacy. While many competitors rely on flashy marketing, Proton VPN focuses on security, strong encryption, and open source development. But does its privacy-first approach make it the safest choice? Let's find out. Starting with security, Proton VPN uses AES-256 encryption for OpenVPN and ChaCha24 WireGuard, both industry gold standards. This protects your data from hackers, ISPs, and government surveillance, ensuring your browsing history and personal information remain private. Another security feature is SecureCore, a multi-hop system that routes your traffic through ultra-secure servers in privacy-focused countries like Switzerland, Iceland, and Sweden. Even if an exit server is compromised, your data stays protected. As for privacy, Proton VPN has a strict no-logs policy, which Securidom has independently audited. Plus, being based in Switzerland means it benefits from some of the world's strong Strongest privacy laws, staying free from surveillance alliances like Five Eyes, Nine Eyes, or Fourteen Eyes. Overall, with strong encryption, secure core protection, and a strict no logs policy backed by audits, Proton VPN goes the extra mile to keep your data safe. Add Switzerland's privacy laws, and it's easy to see why it earns the remark top tier security, airtight privacy. All right, now let's explore what it offers for features to see if it's any different from the others. And factually, it's, it does have a few standout features that set it apart from its competitors. Unlike most free VPNs that are packed with ads and bandwidth limits, Proton VPN provides a genuinely free version with no ads and unlimited bandwidth, though it's limited to servers in five countries. Its full server network, however, spans over 11,000 servers across 117 countries, giving paid users a much wider selection for better speed and accessibility. Also, Proton VPN is not owned by a large corporation like many other VPN providers. For example, ExpressVPN, Zenmate, Private Internet Access, and CyberGhost are owned by Cape Technologies. Since 2014, Proton has remained independent, neutral, and user-first which gives it some level of trust and adds to its credibility. As I mentioned earlier, Proton VPNs being outside the 5, 9, or 14 eyes surveillance alliances provides stronger legal protections against government data requests than VPNs based in countries with jurisdictions having these surveillance alliances. Additionally, while many VPN providers, including Nord and those under Cape Technologies, don't fully open source their apps, Proton VPN has made all of its apps open source, ensuring complete transparency. Moreover, Proton VPN's secure core servers come with NetShield, which blocks ads and protects against malware. It also features a kill switch to prevent IP leaks if the VPN connection drops. Lastly, its port forwarding feature enhances torrenting and online gaming by allowing supported local apps to be accessed from the internet. There's also a Tor over VPN feature that lets you connect to the Tor network, including .onion websites, in your regular browser without the need for a Tor browser. This feature only supports TCP traffic and is available on the paid plans, so free users must upgrade to use it. However, the downside is that using the Tor server is very slow compared to using a regular VPN server. Proton advises users only to use the Tor server if they require a very high level of anonymity or wish to connect to an Onion site. Overall, Proton VPN goes beyond the basics with a truly free plan 
independent ownership, open source transparency, and advanced features like SecureCore, NetShield, and Tor over VPN. It is packed with essential and premium features for different purposes. Therefore, my remark would be, it is feature rich. And if you're loving this video, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe to keep this channel running for more reviews like this. All right, let's take a look at how fast Proton VPN is and how it compares to other top competitors. A VPN is useless if it slows your internet to a crawl. During my recent speed tests, I compared Proton VPN with the top five VPNs in terms of regular server speed using three server locations. NordVPN had the highest download speeds in the Middle East at 36.2 megabits per second and performed well in the UK. Proton VPN followed closely with solid download speeds in the US and the Middle East, peaking at 35.2 megabits per second. However, its upload speed wasn't as consistent as ExpressVPN, which maintained consistently high upload speeds across all locations, peaking at 20.5 megabits per second in the Middle East. CyberGo struggled in overall performance compared to the others, especially in the Middle East, where it had the lowest speeds. However, it's worth noting that these speed tests can be situational. Factors like server load, your internet provider, and even the time of day can all affect results. Moreover, I also tested Proton VPN's secure core against Nord, VPN's double VPN in terms of multi-hop server speed, and surprisingly, Proton VPN came out victorious for having the highest upload and download speed. However, if you're using the free version, expect mixed results. It limits you to servers in just five countries, Japan, Romania, Poland, the Netherlands, and the US. And since those servers are often crowded, speeds can drop during peak hours. For casual browsing, it's fine. But for anything bandwidth heavy, like streaming or gaming, it's not ideal. This could be a downside for users planning to stick with the free version. But what did you expect? Free stuff comes with limitations, so you'd have to deal with it if you're choosing this option. However, if you desire more functionality, consider upgrading to the paid plan, which unlocks a faster network, access to more countries, and support for streaming and torrenting. Overall, Proton VPN is fast but not the fastest. It performs well in key regions and even outpaced NordVPN in a multi-hop test. However, its free servers can be hit or miss, making it a decent speed but not the fastest option overall. Is speed a major factor in your VPN choice? Or would you rather compromise it for top security? Let me know your choice in the comments. All right, Proton VPN delivers on performance, but is it cost-effective in terms of pricing? Let's break it down. VPN pricing can be tricky. Some are dirt cheap but lack key features, while others charge a premium for top-tier security. So where does Proton VPN fit in? Surfshark and CyberGhost offer some of the cheapest plans at $2.19 per month for a two-year plan. Both come packed with features but may have occasional speed inconsistencies. NordVPN, my top-rated VPN, costs $3.39 per month for a two-year plan and delivers a solid mix of speed, security, and reliability. Its complete plan includes one terabyte of cloud storage, which Proton's unlimited plan doesn't match. ExpressVPN is a premium pick at $4.99 per month for a two-year plan. It offers great speed and security, but fewer extras than Proton's unlimited plan. Proton VPN stands out with its plus plan at $1.99 per month for a two-year subscription, making it the most affordable among top competitors. The unlimited plan, Priced at $7.99 per month includes Proton Mail, Calendar, 500 gigabyte cloud drive, and Pass. However, it's pricier than Nord's complete plan, which arguably offers more value. So, is Proton VPN worth the price? If privacy is your top priority, it's a strong contender. But if you're looking for an all-around VPN with the best price to feature balance, Surfshark or CyberGhost might be better deals. Moreover, I found a hidden page where you can get an even better deal on Proton's plans. I have included the link in the description so you can check it out to find the best available price. Overall, when it comes to value for money, Proton VPN sits in a great spot. It's arguably the cheapest, and considering its strong privacy stance, open source transparency, and advanced security features, my remark would be that it delivers an affordable premium pricing for what it offers, especially if privacy is your top priority. So, is Proton VPN right for you? Well, here's my final verdict. If you prioritize privacy, security, and open source transparency, Proton VPN is one of the best choices on the market. It's an excellent option for users who want a free, trustworthy VPN with strong encryption and a no-logs policy. But if speed and all-around performance matter to you, then NordVPN is your best bet. And if you'd like to see how Proton VPN ranks in my best VPN roundup, watch this video. Or if you're looking for the best cloud storage, then check out this one. Thanks for watching, 